In this example, we're given a matrix definition. So we have A is this matrix. Looks like the dimensions here, let's see, three rows and two columns. So A is going to be a three by two matrix. And so we would like to evaluate a couple of expressions. We have matrix A times the transpose of A, and then we'll do the reverse of that, the transpose of A times matrix A. So probably the first thing we need to do is go ahead and find that transpose of A. And so if matrix A is a three by two, that means the transpose will be a two by three. Okay, so all of these uh, columns here will become rows, or you can think of it as all the rows become columns, but you're just kind of flipping things around. So let's go ahead and make this column into the first row. So two, zero, seven. And we'll go ahead and make the second uh, column here into this second row. Okay, so there are all those entries, and that's what this is going to look like when I find A and the transpose of A as well. So let's look at this first multiplication. So we have A times the transpose of A. Let's consider first their dimensions. So A was a 3 by 2, and we're going to multiply that by the transpose of A, which is a 2 by 3. So for multiplication, we always ensure that these inner dimensions are the same, and they're both two, so we know this matrix multiplication will be defined. And so the product matrix will uh, have three rows and three columns. So when we multiply here, we'll end up with a three by three. So let's go ahead and work this uh, multiplication algorithm. So A times a transpose of A. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down A first. And I'll bring them down here a little bit. Maybe you won't be able to see the whole thing quite yet. So 2, 0, and 7, and negative 3, 4, and negative 5. Okay, right there. And then I'll bring the transpose of A down as well, leaving a little bit of room. So horizontally so we can work. Okay, right here. And so let's go ahead and put our product matrix right in the middle. And I like doing it this way because it's a great visual representation of the multiplication and how all of it fits together and the entries end up right here. So we said this product matrix is going to be three by three. And we see that we have uh, three rows that we're coming across and three columns that we're coming down. So indeed that will be a three by three. And so remember, we're gonna have these series of multiplications and then we're gonna add them all together. So the first term in this first row and the first term in this first column, so two times two is four, and then the negative three times the negative three is positive nine, so we'll add them just like that. So again, across the rows and down the columns. So let's go ahead and move on to row two, column one. So we'll come across this row and down this column. So zero times two is zero, and four times negative three is negative 12. And finally, this third row with this first column, seven and two is 14, and then negative five and negative three is positive 15. So that's what that first column will look like. Let's go ahead and move on to the second column. So row one, column two, two times zero is zero, and negative three times four is negative 12. And you'll see that similar right here. So row two, column two, zero times zero is zero, and four times four is 16. And moving on, seven times zero is zero, and then negative five and four is negative 20. Okay, so last column now. So row one, column three. Two times uh, seven is 14, and then the negative three and the negative five is plus 15, and you saw we had that in the corner over here as well. And then uh, row two, column three, zero and seven is zero, and then four and negative five is negative 20. And you saw that occurred right here as well. And finally, we have seven times seven is 49, and then negative five times negative five is positive 25. So you can see how there's a lot of patterns when we have the multiplication of a matrix with its transpose or the transpose of a matrix with the matrix itself. You'll notice these major diagonals here, this, this main diagonal is just the sum of perfect squares. So four and nine, zero and 16, 49 and 25, all perfect squares. And then you'll also have the symmetry here where we had zero minus 12, 14 and 15, and then zero minus 20 in both of those locales. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Four and nine is our 13. We have a negative 12 here and a 29. 
and then coming across is that negative 12 again with a 16 and a negative 20. And finally, that 29 again with that negative 20 again. And then here is 74. So here is going to be that first matrix. It's a product matrix. And this is what I get here whenever we multiply A by the transpose of A. Okay. So let's go ahead now and finish this up by doing the reversal. We'll do the transpose of A multiplied by A. So the dimensions here, the transpose of A was a 2 by 3, and A, of course, was a 3 by 2. These inner dimensions are the same, which means this matrix multiplication will be defined. And the product matrix in this case will have two rows and two columns, so it will be a 2 by 2 square matrix. Okay, so we're going to move down again, and we'll set up this uh, multiplication algorithm. So the transpose will come first, and we'll put that down here. So we'll have 2 and negative 3, 0 and 4, 7 and negative 5. I'm not even sure you can see that right now. Yeah, right there. And then we will have A, which will kind of fit right up here. And we'll leave plenty of space horizontally for uh, the multiplication and addition to occur. Okay, right there. And then we'll squeeze this product matrix in right here. And once again, I like this visual representation. So we said this is going to be a 2 by 2 square matrix. And it looks like it will be. We have two rows that we're going to come across and two columns that we're going to come down. And so here we go. We're going to match up all of these entries. So 2 and 2, 0 and 0, 7 and 7. So 2 times 2 is 4. 0 squared is 0 and 7 squared is 49. So now, uh, let's see, the first row with the second column, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, 0 and 4 is 0, and then 7 and negative 5 is negative 35. So let's come across the second row now, and we'll do each column in succession. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, 4 and 0 is 0, negative 5 and 7 is negative 35, and you'll see those are the exact same values we had in this corner as well. And then finally, row 2, column 2 should just be the sum of a bunch of squares. So negative 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and negative 5 squared is 25. So to wrap this example up, let's go ahead and figure out what uh, the entries are for this final 2 by 2 square product matrix. 4 and 0 and 49 make 53, and that's just the sum of all those perfect squares. So negative 6 and 0, well, that's just negative 6. And then negative 35 will be negative 41. And it'll be negative 41 in the corner as well. And 9 and 16 and 25, that'll just make 50 for the sum of these uh, perfect squares as well. So in this case, here is our 2 by 2 product matrix. It's a square matrix. So to kind of recap, we started out with matrix A. It was a 3 by 2. We went ahead and found the transpose of A, which is a 2 by 3, and we evaluated these two expressions of multiplication. So matrix A times its transpose, and the transpose of A times matrix A. And those product matrices were here and here. So that's that example.